Hi, and welcome back to Temple Baptist Church Online Devotion. I'm glad that you're with me today. Today is the second part of the series, um, The Names of God. Last time we looked at Christ um, from uh, Mark chapter 8, where Peter says that, that Jesus is Christ. And today we're looking at the name of God, Elohim. And this comes from uh, the very beginning of the, Bi- of the Bible, the very first verse that's recorded in Scripture, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. It says, in the beginning, God, that is Elohim in the Hebrew, created the heavens and the earth. Elohim, it is the masculine plural form of Eloah. And it is masculine, meaning that God is always seen as male. And it is plural, helping us not to understand that there are many gods, but there is one God that is in three separate forms. We call that the Trinity. Elohim here is seen here and throughout Scripture as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit all equal, all present, all working in creation that we see here. And as well, we have that for us over in John chapter 1 that we will take a look at um, later in a different session. But all three persons of the Godhead um, carrying the same essence, the same qualities, the same um, eternity, So they existed before time began, and they will continue to exist after time as we know it stops here on the face of the earth. Throughout the Hebrew scriptures, Elohim is seen roughly about 2,500 times as recorded in the Hebrew scriptures. Elohim is the name of God that is is also used in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Then God said, then Elohim said, let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over the cattle, over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God, Elohim, created man In his own image, in his image, God created him, male and female, he created them. And then it says in verse 28 that God blessed them and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it, have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over everything that moves on the earth. And so Elohim, the three in one, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, he is the creator of all life. He has created all mankind as we know it. God knows us, understands us, and created us to have a relationship with Him. So as we study, we will begin to see who God is as the Father, as the Son, and as the Holy Spirit. I'm glad that you were with me today. I hope that God to you Um, that you understand him as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I hope that you have a significant relationship with him. If you don't, we at Temple Baptist Church want to help you with that. So I would encourage you to call. And if you don't have a church home where you attend regularly on Sunday, please come and join us here. We meet on Sunday mornings at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., Sunday night at 6 p.m., and on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. And we would love for you to come and... uh, Let us help you grow in your faith. God bless you. I hope you'll come next time and join me as we continue this study on the names of God.